Now, when heat flows, okay, you know that what's happening there is there's a transfer of energy, right? So if heat flows into a system, the energy goes into the system, right? So that means the energy increases. So we're going to assign, as a matter of convention, to keep track of where the energy is, we're going to assign a value, a positive value, for the amount of heat. So Q here we represent as the amount of heat flow, as the amount of energy transferred due to heat. We're going to assign it a positive value. And when heat flows out of the system, so if it comes out of your system, then the energy would be dropping, right? The system loses energy, then we're going to assign a negative value for Q. So, for example, if you have a hot piece of metal, it cools to room temperature. What's the algebraic sign for Q? Yes. And Q refers to the system. Okay. Now, unless otherwise specified. Okay. Now, like in this case, what's the algebraic sign of Q for the room? Because heat went out of the system, where did it go to? Go into the room, out of the system, into the room, so Q is positive for the room. So that's the algebraic sign convention for values of heat, okay?